Jags, Ravens, Sunday night football. This is a fun game on Sunday night football. It would have meant, obviously, it means a lot. It would have meant a lot more had the Jags have pulled it out this past Sunday. It would have been a potential top feed on the line. But Trevor Lawrence played a, only a week after, less than a week after, a high ankle sprain, gutted it out. Didn't look sharp, but he was also playing Cleveland's defense, which can make any quarterback not look sharp. But bad news is he's now he's playing Baltimore's defense, which equally is as tough. They put the most pressure on the quarterback in the NFL. Uh, we'll start with you, Zach. Uh, Ravens, Jaguars, do you feel like the Ravens uh, really cement that top seed here and make a statement against Jacksonville? Or is this kind of a trap game for the Baltimore Ravens? Yeah, call the uh... – Call the Ravens quick Crete because I think they set in real quick against the Jaguars here. I think uh, the Jaguars have trouble in, in this game. And I'll tell you why. In the last three games this season, well, the only three games this season, the Jaguars have played a top eight passing defense. They're 0-3. They've scored three against San Francisco. They scored nine against the Chiefs. And they scored 27 against the Browns last week. But a lot of it was garbage time, and they were not really in that game too much. Um so they've averaged 13 points a game against top eight defenses, pass defenses this year. The Ravens are a top eight pass defense. I believe in some metrics, they're number one. In most of them, they're top three. Um, so this is a stiff test. Lawrence and the Jaguars, they they feel like the AFC Lions to me. Uh, there's just something not quite right. Uh, Lawrence is better than Goff in that, re in that regard, but he's very mistake prone. The receivers are all kind of just like, like Brennan made this great point on Monday. They're kind of lazy finesse receivers. <laughs> you know, if they can't outskill you, they're not going to outwork you. And Christian Kirk being the safety blanket on third downs has really reared its head the last two weeks in their losses, him his absence. Um, and yeah, they don't have a power run game. Etienne is solid, but he's not game breaking right now. And he's not, he doesn't go in between the tackles and, pummel guys for three four yards when you need it uh there's just stuff there's just not a toughness about this team also you've got a coach who's really good sometimes and then really boneheaded sometimes makes really tough weird decisions doesn't kick field goals gambles too much um i don't know if peterson's aggressiveness is really lining up with what this team needs right now so i don't think yeah. he's a bad coach but i think he's hurting the team in ways and uh I just don't think they're ready for this type of game. I don't, they have a lot to fix if this team's going to be ready for this type of game in the postseason. Um, so I don't like them in this spot at all. I think Baltimore is really focused and really good. And the quarterback is playing out of his mind. And I don't think they care that they're on the road here. I think they go in and do a San Francisco type beatdown. I mean, I, maybe Ooh. not that extreme, but I'll go ahead and pick the Ravens to win this game. Uh, the Jaguars defense has been struggling too. I'll go 27 to 13 Jaguar uh, Ravens Ravens. Ooh, okay. Got ourselves a little buns there, Connor. Uh, do you agree? Do you think Baltimore is going to buns them up here? Uh, I mean, it was interesting to your point about the Doug Peterson, him going for two to make it a two point game instead of a three point game made literal no sense. And earlier in the game, didn't kick a field goal in the beginning of the game where it would have uh, mattered big time. Yeah, and it's, uh, He's and remember the Chiefs game in week whatever. He went for a fourth down in the middle of the field in a zero zero game right before halftime. The Chiefs seized yes. the momentum. They never looked back. I mean, he's made a bunch of head scratching decisions this year for a, a respected coach. His analytics are wild. Uh, Connor, you think the Baltimore stamps him in this game? Something's off with the Jacksonville defense. Uh, they've given up 30 plus points in three of their last five games. Uh, all three of those were losses. Um, they are an odd team right now. They're sitting at second against the run or excuse me, fourth against the run in the league, but they are 31st against the pass. Uh, Ravens not, not run the ball particularly amazing. Um, pretty decent as of late, but I don't think they're going to have to run the ball. They're going to throw all over. Them. They are going to throw all over this team. Jacksonville's defense is something's up. I'm not quite sure what it is, but when everything gets added up, they're getting, they're, they're, they're very susceptible through the air. Uh, I love the Ravens in this game. I think the Ravens come out. Zay Flowers is a man on fire. Uh, unfortunately, without Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely is going to have to step up. Uh, Bren, great first touchdown last week on Isaiah Likely. Mm, yes, birthday boy. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we should all should have known he was likely to catch it. Okay. Weirdly, when I went to bet that, that 
actual exact phrase went through my head. I was like, oh, should I bet this one? And I was like, it is likely. It's likely. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, give me the Ravens to buns them up real good. I think wow. the Ravens score at will in this game. Uh, yeah, they're 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 giving up points on the road. I think Vegas knows that they're going to win the game. It's just by how much. Love the Ravens to win thirty-one seventeen. Okay, that's a buns, right? Poop, poop pants. Yeah. <laughs> poop pants. Uh, yeah. Uh, this has been a. I've been going back and forth in this game all week because it does. It feels you know. Not a, I don't want to say trappy because it's hard to overlook a team like Jacksonville who is eight and four. Uh, but the Ravens have some tough games coming up, including next week against the San Francisco 49ers uh, in a really big showdown. And the week after that, Miami and then and then Pittsburgh. This feels like one of those games that like you could see them dropping. Just there's really no reasoning behind it. There's no like, oh yeah, that's why they dropped it, but they just did. And then they they have three tough yeah. games in a row. Uh, it's happened before. Buffalo had this happen to them a couple years ago with Jacksonville, actually, uh, when they were sandwiched right in between two big rivalry games, and then they just dropped an egg against the Jacksonville. They'll look ahead game. I don't think Jim Harbaugh or John Harbaugh will let him do that, though. Jacksonville's yeah. actually 8-5, and five, right? And they're only 8-5, and they're five, only, sorry. They're only, one game up, they're only one game up on both those teams now. And I don't think yeah. Jim Harbaugh will let them either. Yeah. Oh, Because okay. he's oh. filming people. I, I see what you're doing there. He, Not, do he says, hey, Alabama, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, I. this is weird. I, I'm going to – I don't really believe in this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I think Jacksonville is going to steal this game. It's, it's a big primetime spot. Their last few primetime games, with the exception of the Cincinnati game, which was just weird the entire game. It was just it was a weird game. They always seem to get up for it. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this is going to be kind of a letdown spot for Baltimore on a prime time. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to be another week to heal up a little bit. He'll be a little bit a little bit better uh, than he was this this past week. And Foyer, our guy, friend of the show, uh, I think he makes a big time play in this game. And I think that the that the defense comes to play in prime time. Give me Jacksonville to steal this game, only off of. Uh, oh, ooh, look at that man! That's right. There we go. Uh, but I, I really like Jacksonville to steal the game. Give me Jacksonville 23, 20, um, to steal this game from Baltimore. I think Baltimore just maybe, maybe, I mean that earlier in the year, Baltimore was a team that faded late in games and stomped teams in the first half. Maybe that rears its uh, head in this game. If it's a, if it's a close one in prime time. Before Brendan goes, can we do a quick round table? Foyer having another unbelievable season. Would you mm. consider him a stud, a muffin, or a stud muffin? I'll go first. I think he's a stud muffin. Yes. Zach? Uh, stud muffin, and he's uh, he's right in the mix for my uh, for my three-peat on betting him to lead the yes. league. So. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Brendan, is stud stud muffin? Yeah, definitely stud muffin. We're, we can meme stud muffin. Yep. Well, I haven't gone yet. No, oh, yet. okay. <laughs> <It's>, no, <laughs> meme it. Meme, I mean, we're we're doing really good on memes this year. So yeah, Foyer is amazing. Uh, I also, <laughs> uh, I also I, love. I wish uh, he would. Uh, yeah, I wish Michigan had the same pedigree that the that, that did to the Patriots. Uh, but yeah, I uh, yeah, I think Jax was going to win the game. And shout out to all of our Jags fans. And shout out to Foyer, who always gets back to us on social media and stuff. He's a good He's a, man. Great guy. Great guy. B Mac. Do you feel like Trevor Lawrence, Clemson guy? Do you think he's got one in him on Sunday night? Are you with me or are you with the boys on the right here? Um, I'm I'm going to work my way to being with the boys on the right here. Um, <laughs> the, there's a lot of interesting factors about the Jacksonville Jaguars. There, there's a lot weird about the Jaguars. Um, I think I think I think there's a lot fake about the Jaguars. Um, they're like almost good, but not that good. Um, and then Baltimore is uh, really good. Uh, but I think Baltimore's defense without Kyle Hamilton might be a little more vulnerable. Kyle mm, Hamilton has been boy. one of the yeah. best players in the secondary in the NFL this year. Um, the Rams sort of threw all over them once he was out of the game. Uh, but I, I just don't think the Jaguars receivers are anything like Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup. Um, I think if Christian Kirk was there, I would have a little more faith in Jacksonville's ability. He, he, he to broke pass. his he, he broke his dick. Yeah, yeah, he definitely, he, he definitely they, hurt. They, they keep just yeah. saying it's like uh, they, they they've been very vague about it, but that's what it looked like. <laughs> they keep saying um, it's like it's oblique. <laughs> um, yeah. So Baltimore, uh, sorry, Jacksonville, great against the run, uh, horrible against the pass. Lamar Jackson has been playing incredible. I think that's a problem. 
Um, you flip it, Baltimore's defense, fantastic against the pass. Um, and Jacksonville really doesn't have the kind of receiver uh, to beat a defense that's that good against the pass. Um, I don't like the chances for the Jaguars here. That being said, a fun fact about the Jaguars, and this is part of why I think they're even more faker, the faker uh, than I said, is the Jaguars um, are getting the, or here it is, uh, they are getting the second most penalty yards uh, in their favor per game um, and the second least penalty yards against them per game. They are the most favored by the refs team in the NFL. Wow. Um, it's Baltimore, not Kansas the City. Hand, wow. Baltimore, yeah, it's, it's other than Kansas City and Philly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Except, statistically, I... statistically, they are the second least penalty yards per game and the second most penalty yards per game on the, their opponent. Um, wow. yeah. that's, if that was the Patriots, you'd be like the most disciplined team in the yeah, league. Maybe know. that's why I said, may, who knows? Maybe it's a something else. Baltimore, they're not. Um, Baltimore is the third most penalized team in the NFL, um, and their opponents are our twentieth um, most penalized team. So the penalty little thingy yeah. super leans toward Jacksonville is going to have a huge advantage there. Uh, because their opponents get penalized the most, and Baltimore is the second most penalized team in the NFL. Uh, so look for the refs to steal this game from the, the hey, Baltimore. Hey, that goes at me a little bit. Hey, steal the so, game. I said uh, Jax was going to steal one. Look for a decent chance for the refs to steal the game yeah, for, let's get for it. the Jaguars. Oh, yeah. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I love it. Uh,